Hey everyone, uh, let's do some summoning of new characters. So for the exclusive beginners recruitment, you actually get 20 free new recruitments um, as a new player for this game. So among those 20, you're guaranteed a 5 star and a 6 star. And that 6 star is selected among the beginner Aurorians. So either um, Nikinis, Grun... Runru, Icy, or Surreal. So yeah, I'm not great at pronouncing their names. <laughs> but um, outside of the beginner recruitment, basically getting a six star is a has a two percent chance, and that chance increases over time as you fail to get six stars. So eventually you will get one. But as a beginner, you're guaranteed one. And let's see what I get. Everyone's always hoping for a water or ice elemental now. Because it does give you a significant advantage. So let's pull the lever and... Oh, was that an orange I saw? You can... Oh, just one yellow. Yeah, you can pretty much tell just by the light of the lever and the light pillars that show up in the map. Um, whether or not you've gotten the 5 or 6 star. 5 star is gold, 6 star is orange. And I love all their voice acting, so anytime I get a new character, I'm just gonna let them finish what they're saying. Oh, what is this? Three star. So cute. Yeah, not knowing what any of their abilities are, all I can do is comment on their looks so far. and. I love, love the character design in this game. A oh, five star! Okay, five star wood. He seems cool. Four star, not bad. Rabbit. Oh, all of them are so cute. I haven't gotten any duplicates yet. I know this game has tons of characters. But I do wonder why they start at 3 star. I mean, I don't think there's any 2 or 1 star characters, so it just starts at 3. I guess more stars the better. No one's gonna come playing. I mean, it does seem much more impressive if you, you know, get a 5 or 6 star as opposed to a 3 or 4 star. But are there any 1 and 2 stars? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, 4 star, okay. Wendy. Man, I want to draw all of these characters. Very cool. All right. And yep, only one repeat character. So let's try this again and see how my luck is. I do notice that the character named Icy is actually the fire character. That's funny. And Sorio is what I want. So fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll get another 5 star as well on top of that. And orange! Yes, of course, I'm guaranteed one. Come on. Oh yes, orange and yellow. Okay. Who are you? A vampire hunter? Nails. Nails. All you guys have interesting backstories. I wonder if I'll ever be able to find out like all of their backstories. That seems like way too much. Rabbit guy. That's gotta be a mask, right? Of course. 
So yeah, all these characters in this game seem to have animal parts. Wings, tails, horns. So, mutants, aliens, magic, homunculi, shark dudes. Are they just animals that's mutated? Humans that's combined with animals? Who knows? There's apparently, from what I can understand so far from the game, three different races, like an ancient race, and then the race of monsters, and then um, these characters, and I guess there's also... Yeah, the story is pretty complicated. <laughs> Linking the past and the future. And there also seems to be different races and clans within the summoned characters. It's all so complex. Four star, oh you again. So duplicates probably gets me mad that allows me to um, increase the power of the and the fact that they actually hired at least, I don't know, 20 different voice actors to make this game. Impressive. What did I, what was that? Yes? Yes! Yeah! So lucky. Yes. Usually I have terrible luck. I was not expecting this at all. Totally, completely was not expecting that at all. Oh, and did I, I miss the five star? Yeah, so I got a five star and a six star. Cool, cool, cool. Yay! Well, that was great. And I'll play around with these guys and hopefully come up with a good build that will really utilize my ice characters. Alright, thanks guys. Until next time.